According to the Housing Minister, the Housing Provision Project, which spans all 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, has been instrumental in providing employment opportunities in various sectors. These jobs range from construction-related roles to service supporting the housing sector, such as artisans, laborers, engineers and other professionals. So at an average of 25 jobs per house, these 6,612 units are providing jobs for over 165,000 skilled and unskilled Nigerians. This in addition to the value chain effects of purchase, supply of building materials, businesses around the construction sites, etc. The FG's housing initiative has been praised by various stakeholders for its role in not only addressing housing shortages, but also in enhancing skill development among workers. Over the past 65 days, these dedicated ministers have demonstrated visionary leadership and a deep commitment to the Renew Hope agenda of Mr. President and have stayed true to their promise to transform the entire housing ecosystem of our country. I know that a lot of work is going behind the scene. We'll continue to share our own ideas with you so that we can be able to reach some kind of consensus on how we'll be able to deal with the issue of our regulation. The government has assured that the housing units will be allocated transparently to eligible Nigerians with priority given to low-income earners and public servants. The question remains, how will the evaluation process impact both employment and housing availability for those at the grassroots? Susan Ita, ITV News.